season 15. Let's just turn this one a little bit like that. Now it's season 15 of Doctor Who. And this season consisted of 26 episodes, spanned over 6 serials. The last one is a 6 parter, I think. Yeah, the last one is a 6 parter. And the rest is 4 parters. And it ran from the 3rd of September 1977 up until the 11th of March 1978. And also, it had, besides Tom Baker as the doctor. We had Louise Jameson continuing as Leela for the entire season before she left at the end of this one. So, this season started with story 92, which is called Horror of Fang Rock. So, in this one, they, well, they end up at the lighthouse, which, well, has some mysterious deaths going on and also fun about this one it, it it has a fantastic line delivered by Tom Baker which is this lighthouse is under attack and you're probably all, and by the morning you'll probably all be dead and he says it with a smile at the end really funny story even though bad things happen next up we have the introduction of K9 isn't that right K9 Yeah, uh, this. Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna play along with K9 that play along. I'm gonna, not gonna play with K9 that much. So in this one, K9 Tales, we have the interaction of K9. So uh, and actually, for those who don't know it, in let's get him out here in the Invisible Enemy. The first appearance of K9. We have K9 Mark 1, which actually belongs to another person, and they liked him, K9, so much that they decided that uh, the owner and builder of K9, uh, Professor Marius, uh, gave K9 to the doctor. And also on this one, we have a story which we'll talk about some other time uh, when we'll talk about spin off, etc. We have A Girl's Best Friend, which is a story from a spin-off called K9 and Company featuring Elizabeth Sladen which well pretty much in this K9 and Company she get, gets the K9 you'll see in uh, the 5th Doctor's anniversary uh, 20th, 20th anniversary and you also get to see him in School Reunion uh, the version that Sarah Jane gets in this one but I'll put that one back in here because we'll talk about that one another time and I'll put K9 Tales there with the invisible enemy in front of it. Story number, let's see, 93. Story number 94 can be found on this one. This DVD called Image of the Fendal, which is about, well, the Fendal, which is sort of, uh, well, what should you call it? I'm not sure, but it's a sort of skull, and it possesses uh, a girl in this one. So yeah, and uh, also it's part of the that skull is uh, the key to a nightmare from the Time Lord's past. I read that just off the cover here. So yeah, the full Potter image of the Fendal. Story number. Let's see here, 94. Story number 95. The Sunmakers takes place on Pluto actually, and the reason it's called the Sunmakers is because, well, Pluto is now a habited planet the, which has six suns around it, so it's always daytime and everyone has to work all the time and uh, pay taxes, and it's really bad, so yeah. People don't like it, and people aren't even allowed outside. And also has K9 in a lot of action. Story number 96 can be found on this one, Myths and Legends box set. Also containing the Time Monster, Thorok story, and Horns of Nyman, which we'll get back to in season 17. But now it's about Underworld. 
which is, well, a story which takes place in, uh, let's see what it was called, a spacecraft called RC-1 and uh, they meet a crew there who are out on a mission and why well, don't I remember much about this one? I don't know because I watched it like just a month ago. But uh, yeah, they're they're on the trail to a newly formed planet. Apparently, I don't know. I don't remember much about this one because, as I said, it wasn't too long ago since I watched it. But well, yeah, it's it's written by the same people who created K9. Lastly, we have a story which I can say something about. It's called The Invasion of Time, featured on the Bread for War box set. You've probably seen this one by now because it has a third Doctor story, a fourth Doctor story, which I've already talked about, and we also have, well, six Doctor story, which we'll get to later. But on this box, we have the only six parter and the last story of this season, and it's called The Invasion of Time, and it takes place on Gallifrey. And uh, what happens is that the Doctor has just been elected president of uh, the High Council of the Time Lords. And uh, what's pretty clever about this one is that... So what's happening in this one is that the Doctor is sort of possessed. And, uh, and essentially helps this, these uh, people called the Vardens. And uh, they get into... Uh, uh, Gallifrey and uh, has control over the Doctor and uh, essentially their plan which is just to be well sort of uh, I think well a uh, uh, way to get the Sontarans into Gallifrey because the, Sontar uh, the planet Gallifrey the High Council there is protected by shield and they some tunnels need to get through. So actually, this is sort of two stories in one. So uh, the storyline about uh, the Vardens is the first four parts, and then we have as a cliffhanger for part four. Sorry for spoiling a little bit here, but we have uh, the Santaran showing up, and we have them for the last two episodes. It also sees the departure of Leela as well as K9 Mark One, who stays along with Leela. But we have K9 Mark Two for next season. Season. See where we are. If this is 15, that means season 16. So, that's this season, right, K9? Yeah. <laughs> I should stop playing along with K9. I, I might even get sued right now because, well, I'm using that sound effect, uh, which is John Leeson saying, Affirmative Master. So, we have story number 92, Horror of Fang Rock. Story number 93, The Invisible Enemy, K9's first appearance. Story number 94, Image of the Fendal, story number 84. Why am I saying 80? It's 90. Story number 94, story number 95, The Sunmaker, story number 96, Underworld, story number 97, 97, The Invasion of Time. And that's it for season 15. And next up we have season 16, also known as uh, the story arc called Key to Time. What it is about, we'll see when we get to it next time and well pretty much it for now adios